Jake Paul has really outdone himself with the taunting lately. The YouTuber turned boxer took it to a whole new level by bringing up Mike Tyson's daughter in a sickening way, suggesting he'd beat Tyson and somehow link it to her death. Jake clearly knows how sensitive this topic is, yet he went ahead with it anyway. Meanwhile, Tyson responded with this statement. No, I did some cocaine for a week. I had to get high. I had to back then. I had to get high. Um, I couldn't handle it at all. You have to go. No, you understand, right? Thank you. Thank you, man. You want to take this stuff off? Why would Jake Paul drag Tyson's daughter into his usual tricks? Oh, of course. It's all about making things interesting. You know, just stirring the pot a little. But come on, there's a line you don't cross, especially when it involves someone's family. It's one thing to hype a fight, but this? This is a whole new level. Let's not forget, Tyson's daughter was a huge part of his life, and her loss changed him forever. Tyson wasn't even able to get back to his normal routine after she passed away. It's something that's deeply personal and painful for him. Yet somehow, Jake thought this would be fair game. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring, because that's all my, I was an annihilator. That's all I was born for. And now those days are gone. It's empty. I'm nothing. I'm working on being the art of humbleness. Can you be with me? That's the reason why I'm crying, because I'm not that person no more. And I miss them. Because sometimes I feel like a bitch. Because I don't, want to, I don't want that person to come out because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. And it's not funny at all. Mike Tyson is that kind of guy who, if you saw him on the street, you'd probably turn around and walk the other way. But even someone as tough as Tyson has a few soft spots, places you really don't want to poke. One of those is the loss of his daughter, Exodus. Now, Tyson's been through some pretty rough times in the ring. He's taken hard hits from fighters like Buster Douglas and Lennox Lewis, and he's had his fair share of losses. But compared to the pain of losing his daughter in 2009, those defeats are nothing. Tyson himself has said that the impact of her passing was beyond anything he ever experienced in the ring. Tyson may look unstoppable, but he's just as human as the rest of us when it comes to family. Losing Exodus was the hardest fight he ever faced and no amount of training could prepare him for that. Exodus was only four years old when she got tangled in a cord from a treadmill at her home in Phoenix, Arizona. It was a tragic accident that no one could have predicted. At the time, her father, Mike Tyson, was not at home. Sadly, no one was there to stop what happened. The cord got wrapped around her, and she accidentally strangled herself. It was a terrible and shocking moment for the Tyson family. Mike Tyson's four-year-old daughter has died one day after what police called a tragic accident. The little girl was found Monday morning by her brother with her neck caught in an exercise machine cable. The accident happened at Tyson's home in Phoenix. Jake Paul might be trying to mess with Tyson's focus before the big fight. This kind of move is really low and unfair. If Jake thought he could win fairly, he wouldn't need to use tricks like this to get under Tyson's skin. It's clear that only someone unsure of themselves would stoop to such tactics. It almost feels like Jake knows he can't beat Tyson straight up, so he's trying to shake him up. Trying to make Tyson upset over personal things shows he might not be ready for a real fight. Only a beginner would be bold enough to use these cheap tricks on someone as strong as Tyson. Jake's tricks might backfire though, because Tyson isn't someone who goes down easily. When someone's really desperate to win, they might do things like this. Jake Paul seems to think he's getting into Tyson's head by bringing up something so personal. He might feel like he's messing with Tyson's emotions, but let's be honest. Does he really believe this will help him win? The truth is, if Jake thought he could beat Tyson at his best, he wouldn't need to play these games. Trying to distract Tyson only shows that Jake isn't so sure he can handle Tyson at full strength. Deep down, Jake must know that Tyson is a serious challenge. If Jake really believed he had a fair chance, he wouldn't bother with tricks like this. It's a risky move, and Tyson isn't someone you can easily shake. In the end, it only shows who's more worried about losing this fight.
As the fight gets closer, many big names are sharing their opinions. One of the biggest? The new U.S. President, Donald J. Trump. He's a big fan of both Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. So it's no surprise he has something to say about this fight. Trump thinks Jake Paul will win, and he has his reasons. He believes that Jake's young age gives him an advantage over Tyson. With youth on his side, Jake might have the energy and speed to come out on top in the ring. I know them both. Jake is amazing. He's a wonderful guy, and so is Mike. I hosted Mike's fight against Michael Spinks, and I was there for his tough match with Buster Douglas in Japan. Mike was a brutal fighter. Trump had some nice things to say about Tyson, too. He praised Tyson for staying so active, even at his age. Trump thinks it's pretty amazing that Tyson is still fighting and staying in shape after all these years. But even though he admires Tyson, Trump couldn't help but point out that Tyson might be past his prime. He said that Tyson's days of being the top fighter might be over now because he's getting older. It's not easy to stay on top forever, and Trump believes that Tyson's time has passed. Mike was fantastic, but he's a little older now. Jake is young and can really fight. Jake Paul's girlfriend, Judah Leardam, has some worries about his fight with Mike Tyson. She's afraid Jake might get knocked out by the boxing legend. Does this mean she doesn't believe Jake can win? Not exactly. She just knows how strong Tyson is and wants Jake to stay safe in the ring. Jake and Yuta talked about her concerns on his podcast, BS with Jake Paul. During the episode, Yuta shared why she's a bit nervous about the upcoming fight. She knows Jake is confident, but she's just being a caring girlfriend, hoping he doesn't get hurt. Even though she believes Jake will win, Yuta admitted this is the most nerve-wracking fight of his career since they started dating. I think you're going to win, but he's the competitor that is the most scary to me, she explained. For me, if I look at him, he's scary, he's super strong, and I've seen like videos of him. Of course, he's a little older now, but if you've ever been able to do that, your body remembers it. Tyron Woodley shares some of the same thoughts as Judah Leardham. He understands why people worry about Jake Paul going up against Mike Tyson. Even though Tyson is older now, he has so much experience from all his years of fighting, and that experience is a huge advantage. Woodley believes that Tyson's time in the ring has given him strength and skill that make up for the age gap between him and Jake. Just because Tyson is older doesn't mean he's any less dangerous. In fact, Woodley thinks that Tyson's experience might make him even tougher to beat. It's clear that Tyson's years of training and his tough fights in the past will play a big role in this match. He feels that Jake will need to be careful because Tyson has seen it all in the ring. But hey, on November 15th, we'll finally find out who's the better fighter, Mike Tyson or Jake Paul. So, who do you think will come out on top? Please let me know down below.